Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. In this video, I want to take a look at the Cardano chart, also Bitcoin chart. And um, we start with Bitcoin and then I want to talk about Cardano and also want to talk about one more interesting project that is running on the Cardano blockchain, um, similar to PBX that we talked about already and uh, some of the other ones that I covered in the previous videos. And of that particular project, you can already buy the tokens and I want to show you where if you're interested. So let's take a look here at uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is still trading in the triangle. That was according to my last update video. Don't really need to talk a lot about it because um, first of all, it's a Cardano video and then I covered it in my previous video, but pretty much, you know, in the next, pretty much today maybe. Yeah, I think today or today into tomorrow, we could get into the apex of that triangle here on the Bitcoin chart. You can see that here how we have been finding resistance here and we are finding support down here resistance currently at around 62k support currently at around 61k so if you see any of these levels broken today then you could assume that we have a breakout we also down here as support we have the 20 day moving average which is very powerful which is providing probably more support then you will have resistance up here, but I don't know, that's not guaranteed. Um, in the end, also we're coming from down here, so we could see it as trend continuation pattern to the upside. However, the risk that we are still in this correction isn't over yet. Um, I did say in the previous video, I want us to get above the, which level was it? 63K, I think. Let me just zoom out a little bit just to get a, because um, technically we could still be in that, um, in that correction here and come down once more but what we've seen is very nicely i mean we've um we've hit the target level where were we actually somewhere here yeah we hit the target level already as you know from the previous video at least on on bitstamp we did not on all exchanges um so we were down in this correction abc which um i already highlighted up here and yeah we were coming down and since then we have pro developed something like a yeah one two three four five setup potentially it's not not clear it's not finished yet i would want us to get above this level here which is <clears throat> 63.5 k so we need to get above that to be more confident that we will see a further price increase at the moment we're just moving sideways the bitcoin price isn't really clear and it's just holding steady as there are lots of gains in the metaverse gaming and Shiba Inu um, yeah, tokens and coins. So that's Bitcoin, um, need to wait for that breakout. I gave you the levels. If we if we go up, then yeah, we will find resistance around this 63.5K level. And if we go down, we will find, I think a main support, a major support down here at around 60K before we could then drop potentially once more to that, depending on the exchange here. Um, here on Coinbase, we dropped to 57.8K, but I think here around 58K will be the support zone. That's Bitcoin. That would obviously influence Cardano in both directions as well, most likely. Cardano also dropped, um, or since the drop here, it recovered, but since then it has been trading. It's, it's difficult to say, you know, you could say that this is actually a channel or something like a bear flag here. Um, you could also say that it is actually a triangle. So it is a bit, a bit hard to say. Um, you know, if you say it's a triangle, then we had a fake out here. Uh, if you say it's a channel, yeah, that pretty much works out or you make it a larger triangle. So it's, it is a bit hard to say. Obviously for, for making it a larger triangle, we don't have enough touch points. We would only have here those two touch points. If we make it that smaller triangle and assume, yeah, we had a bit of a, uh, if we make it that channel, then we can say, right, we have at least here one, two, three touch points here. And those two, or that one here was a fake out. Pretty much we have actually four. One, two, three, four. Maybe that is the most valid one. Um, and then it would actually not be a, a channel. It would actually be a triangle, just a larger one, which would mean we could really be trading here sideways again for a, for a, for a bit. I think that orange one here is probably the most valid one because that small triangle here actually... Um, has it has touch points as well but you have well you have that fake out here so yeah okay i mean these are the two possibilities pretty much that i see here in terms of do we have um, the white triangle or the orange one in the end it doesn't matter we're moving into an apex again i think we are consolidating here again and um, again what move is coming i don't know i talked about that 180 level 181 which we hit um, on various exchanges and therefore we already reached my target level but 
we again since then have failed to really do an impulsive move to the upside which makes me think that we could potentially see another drop below that 180 level into the 180 um, or 181 to 145 level which i gave you in previous videos already which sits between um, two important Fibonacci retracement levels, the 181 being the golden pocket. And below that, we've got obviously very, various other um, Fib levels, and there would be support. Um, first line of support would be here, that 200-day moving average. And if we go, um, if we say we have a breakout here, now, if we take that triangle, say, all right, that is the beginning of the triangle, then we can also formulate um, target levels for a breakout. Let's assume a breakout would happen today. Then that would, to the downside, would take us pretty much to that 200-day moving average at 180, maybe a little bit lower, as I said, and to the upside, depending on which which um, triangle we're talking about here. But I would say that will take us here to around 10, 210, 215, um, where that 20-day moving average is sitting as well and provide resistance. So again, more patience required for any ADA holders, but the time will come. And in the meantime, we can stake our coins, tokens, um, coins, and we can talk about different projects on the Cardano blockchain. So we've got one um, here, which is Card Starter. I haven't really talked about Card Starter on this channel, and there will be um, a new D-app, Photochromic, that will be launching on Card Starter. Now, Photochromic is not initially running on Cardano. That will be running on Ethereum. But what is interesting, um, if you're interested in Cardano and potentially then also Card Starter, because that is running on Cardano, and Card Starter, by the way, um, is already available to buy. Yeah, um, and we're going to have a look at that in a minute. But um, Card, Starter, Card Starter is the first insured project accelerator launchpad for Cardano and decentralized and also a swapping platform. So that is all really, really interesting. Now that Photochromic, which will be launched, um, as far as I understand this, this IDO, so this uh, token launch, the registration for that is on the 8th of November. That's when it will start. And the actual um, IDO will be held on the 15th of November. So I said, if I, if I get, um, any information about any interesting projects that will be coming up where you can register for an IDO to get hold of some of these tokens, I will make you aware on this channel. So yeah, check out Cardstarter. It will start on the 8th of November. That is when you can register. I don't know if there will be any limitations for people from certain countries. I have no idea. I would probably say no because it's fully decentralized, apparently Cardstarter, but I don't know. Um, I, I, would, I, I would guess you need to do KYC, but I have not done that on Cardstarter yet, so I don't know. Um, but what is Photochromic? So Photochromic is bringing <clears throat> a blockchain-powered implementation of self-sovereign identity where the control of user data remains with the users. Now, I find that very interesting because these guys believe that um, only the person who actually owns, well, everybody owns his or her own data. And I think that is what they believe. Not, nobody else should be able to um, use someone's data. I find that very, very interesting. And um, you know, in a time where data is just being, you know, sort of uh, the likes of Facebook, just using your data, for example, to make money of it, um, don't really, don't really support that. So that is very nice. That goes in well in line with Cardano's values as well, I believe. Um, so, but here, Photochromic has announced that Cardstarter will be hosting, yeah, the IDEO, which is that uh, initial decentralized exchange offering. And the tokens are called B PHCR and will be launched on the 15th of November. Um, so yeah, the IDO, what is it? It's decentralized, it's permissionless, it's crowdfunding pretty much, and you can get hold of PHCR. Here they say it once more. Um, it is a identity bonding token that has several use cases within the ecosystem. Total supply 15 billion, out of which 21%, so quite a bit actually, will be sold in the private sale and IDO. It is an ERC20 token. And they say it runs on the native Ethereum blockchain, but they say down here, Photochromic will have multi-chain functionality and will initially run on Ethereum <coughs> before expanding to Cardano, Solana and Matic. So it's not like Cardano exclusive, no, but it is multi-chain, which I believe will be the future anyway. I mean, on this channel, we cover various different cryptos and, uh, you know, and um, it is not only one cryptocurrency or one blockchain that will make it. There will be various and interoperable interoperability is key here. So there's one more thing to mention here. 
As an end goal, Photochromic aims to empower various sectors that require optimized identity verification by helping them adopt Web3 for efficient delivery of services and goods. With the help of this IDO, Photochromic and Cardstarter will foster the mass adoption of cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. Find that really, really interesting. Cardstarter currently trading at 11.97. You can find them on CoinGecko. You can find them on CoinMarketCap. Um, market rank 2927 so if you want to compare that to for example blocktopia just to get an understanding of the current market cap it is behind blocktopia i think blocktopia is around 2500 <coughs> i'm sorry and this is the card starter website what you can see actually all these upcoming projects here as well you can have a look at them um there you go <coughs> sorry there you can see photochromic everlance uh, i haven't looked into the other ones um but quite interesting that is is starting to run, guys. This is getting we we're getting there, and we can be part of it. And you can see all the partners down here. Find that pretty pretty powerful as well. Chainlink, Bitboy Crypto is on here, and the other ones are, I think mainly um, they are mainly like venture capital firms. So a lot of investing goes into Cardstarter as well. Find that really really interesting. Now, where can you actually buy? Um, those card tokens for card starter now that is on uniswap you can actually go to uniswap you can find the cards um, the cards tokens here so i haven't done that yet um, i will need to look into that if i want to buy any um, i need to think about it but i think certainly an interesting one and what we can see actually here on coin market cap it looks a bit like uh, that we have bottomed out here that the card starter price has bottomed out i mean it already went up to 80 dollars uh, and we're currently trading at only um 11.96 so obviously you need to look into the project um yourself and make sure that you're familiar and comfortable with potentially investing but it is one that i just wanted to make you aware of and we can see that we are bottoming out here potentially after a huge pump after the launch then it obviously dropped um, and that is quite, you know, not old, but obviously it started in, in May, you know, and there was a bit of hype around cryptos at that time. Anyway, we're in another a bull run and then we had that bear cycle, short term bear cycle. And then we moved up again throughout August, never got to that previous level. And now we are still, um, we still have to see a little bit of a pump here. Um, at the moment, yes, it's bottomed out. So it might really be an interesting, um, an interesting one as it seems like you know, there, there will be some resistance levels coming up here. And if we break them, we could really get quickly to these likes of $20, $30 again. Um, yeah, I just want to make you aware of that for anyone who is interested in further Cardano projects like um, Card Starter and obviously Photochromic will be available uh, or running, not, not running on Cardano, but it will be compatible and expand to Cardano. So that is what I wanted to make you aware of. Hope you liked that Cardano update. If you did, please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on this crypto journey, please subscribe. Um, for all channel members, please remember today there will be a live stream at 1700 UTC. And I hope you all to see you all then. Thank you. Bye-bye.